Hey everybody, welcome back. This is Jock Kim from Jock Kim Cigar Journal, and this is part two of the interview that I had with the wonderful twins, Tamara and Latoya, of Women Who Smoke Cigars, Jersey City. I had to break the video up into several parts, so this is part two. I hope you like this, sec this second segment. Welcome back to Jack Kim Cigar Journal. I am Jack Kim, and I'm sitting here, of course, with the lovely ladies of Women Who Smoke Cigars, Jersey City, via Newark for right now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sitting here with, with Tamara and Latoya, and we are just chopping it up, talking about cigars and other things that have affected our lives in the last year and a half. And uh, we're having a good time. Uh, we're actually uh, talking about what we're tasting on our, our particular sticks we're puffing today. Um, as I get to this point of the Andalusian Bull, I said earlier, right, that it was smooth. Now it's getting a little strong. Oh, so that's So it's getting a little rough, a little fuerte. Okay. You know? Yeah. <laughs> a little rough. So, but it's still good, though. Some people it's still like good. It it's good. <laughs> Here PG, we go. this is PG, okay? This is PG. Here we go. Okay? Here we go. You see? You can't, you can't, <laughs> take, you can't take her nowhere. I can't take her nowhere. It's PG. But anyway, but no, it, it's, it's, it's getting stronger, mm -hmm. which is fine with me. I like full body cigars anyway, and this is definitely a full body cigar. But the texture, or what I'm getting on the palate, I should say, mm -hmm. is, is changing, which I like in a cigar anyway. So that's what I got right now. It's it's still smooth, but it is getting stronger, a little bit more, a uh, uh, little robust. more spice. Yeah, a little more robust. Thank mm -hmm. you. A little more robust. You know. This has a consistency. This is some okay. straight up consistent, and that's kind of why I like it. Because <clears throat> sometimes I want to think that I'm a big kid, um, and I'm gonna try a big cigar, and then I commit to it, and then next thing you know, I'm really heady because, like you said, it's getting stronger as you continue to smoke. Right. And then I'm like, ooh, you know, I'm not a big kid now, <laughs> you know. So gotcha. I, I like this. It's consistent, and so is the Kentucky for me. The okay. Kentucky, when you smoke it, it just stays consistent. Um, for me, it's like, it's about my lungs. I love cigars and um, I, like to, I like to enjoy it. I like to enjoy life. I like to enjoy something that makes me happy. Um, even though, you know, let's say, if I have certain cigars, it's like, ah, the next day my lungs are crazy, right? But then at least I know that I don't have it every day, right? right. Yeah. And, and I deal with it, you know what I mean? Like be a big girl, right? right? And so for me though, I never have a problem with, with Kentucky. Kentucky. Yeah. I love Kentucky. I don't it's a good, that's a good smoke. Yeah. I just don't. It's just it's a good smoke. perfect. You know, it's really perfect. If you have asthma or lung issues, and I know it sounds like it's something that's uh, very, um, what's the word I'm looking for? It's like, it, it sounds as if, oh, if you have a lung issue, why would you smack? And it's like, because I want to. Don't send a message. No. I don't care. Do, no, I'm not I'm serious. Like, yes. do not write a comment about that. What matters to me <laughs> is like, what I enjoy, what's going to give me the relaxation, what's going to make me happy, rejuvenate me, regenerate me, recharge me. And if that's what it is, and I can deal with like a minor kind of what a setback even, kind yeah, of thing. Not, yeah. not even a setback, but just something like an irritation. That's all. But for me, I'm so happy and relaxed and I can breathe and I can smile and I'm, and I'm good. And that's what I get with yeah. this. Mm -hmm. I really do get that with this. Like, I'm just not. really happy. And I feel like all the work I did, because sometimes I do a lot of physical work, strenuous work, right. you know, where I come home and my muscles ache and I have to take a bath for an hour. Mm. You know what my best thing is? Okay, I'm gonna share with you. My best thing. I do a job. I do, uh, I won't physical explain work. it, but I do a lot of physical work. And I'm aching. I can't even walk up the stairs. My body aches. And I love that, by the way. I love being physical. And I get into you, a, you hear that? I get into a bathtub. Hot. You know better than shit. <laughs> you see, you, you get what you and deserve. Then, while I'm in the bath, I have my cigar. I have my wine. Oh, yes. I have my music. And I life. dare any of you to tell me that's not life. It is life. life. That is life. Yeah, that's like, life. For me, I deserve it. 
There you and go. And at that moment, I feel like I deserve it. There you go. Now, I can buy myself a really expensive bag or really expensive shoes, and I'm questioning if I deserve it. But if I put myself in a bathroom with a cigar and a glass of wine, I know I deserve it. I know I that's deserve heaven. it. There yeah. you go. I know uh, I heaven. deserve it. I'm heaven. so happy. And that's for me what I would like to impart with, with you know, with our conversation. Um, they say self care. I don't want to talk about self care. What talk about just taking care. Mm -hmm. Just take care of yourself. Right. I don't. I don't like the phrase self care. It's become like you know blah blah blah. Take care. Well, you know and, what, Latoya, and, and find the joy and the relaxation and find the treatment that's going to get you through. Yeah. Whatever gets you through. Well, well you know what, Latoya, um, when I walk into, like I, when I even walked into um, the new cigar lounge um, down the street, I actually saw when someone lights up, the peace that overcomes them. Yeah. You know, she's talking about the end of the day. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, that yeah. peace. Yeah. Absolutely. Capture that piece. Capture yeah. that piece on that person's face. And you see it. I see them all, you know, yeah. table over here, table over here, table over here. And, and that social first distance. light. Certain. And the social distance. And this first spark. And like she said, breathe. They exhale. Like they were there's waiting certain, to exhale. Certain, they were waiting to exhale. <laughs> you know shut up. There's a <laughs> moment that happens within a person yeah. when they spark that cigar, mm. they stick of choice. And yeah, there's always that, that. That exhale. This is my moment. Yeah. This is my moment to relax and just do me. Yeah. Do you. And nobody you. can do like you it. like you. Well, do right? you. Uh -huh. So you do take the you. cigar that you want to smoke. Like we always say here, smoke what you like. That's smoke what, what you like. Smoke what you like. And whatever oh, unapologetically. Like. Right. Yeah. And, and, this, and you're doing you and you're enjoying that moment. Mm -hmm. You know? Yeah. And, no. and, and there's, there's a zen, there's a certain peace. Look at us right, right now. In the world going mad. What do we want most? Peace. Yeah, look at us right now. The sun is shining. Right. Peace, contentment, and joy. We're having a good conversation. And it might be, it might be temporary, but right. that's fine. That that that, that moment, moment that recharges moment, you moment. to get through the rest. You know, and that's exactly. like a nap. What I said to you. <laughs> I, okay, if you like a cigar, and if you like cigars and you're a woman, you probably have done this. But you get into the bathtub. Most people don't like to smoke cigars in the house, right? Because it lingers. Oh, by the way, I have a trick. It lingers, etc. What I do is I light, uh, I, I lap, you can do whatever incense you want, but lavender, I feel, um, like a really good incense. Not, in, not all incenses are made the same. So if you want to smoke inside the house, right, I light the incense before I start smoking. Smoking, right and I, and I let it go burn all the way through and of course you know if you can you open the windows but light something or you put on the stove another thing I do is I put on the stove um, like cinnamon and you put anise yeah. and you put That's all this thing very, and yeah, you let works. it boil and it just permeates to the house if you so don't you smoke yeah it smell so it when you put it, it you let it stove. boil before yeah. so if you're worried about what about the cigar sticking to the walls it really doesn't have to yeah. you you can not smoke in your home I'm gonna share something about myself the outside of cigars mm -hmm. I, I actually like to do meditate. we need to be off camera for this one <laughs> 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 but anyway, oh, not not for nothing. I, I actually like to meditate, and I like to light an incense. Yeah, and like you said, the anise. Yeah, uh, lavender, cinnamon. What? Oh, lemon, frankincense. Oh, frankincense and myrrh. Grass is my <gasps> frankincense and myrrh. Actually, puts me in a certain zen too. So when I get to my meditation, I I, I do that as well. So that that's want to share a little factoid outside of cigars with you all here. Yeah. Uh, that, that, that but, but I find that most people are so worried about the smell. smell. And I do get it's, that. Yeah. I really do. So that's the thing. Like, people are like, oh, I don't like what, I don't like when my husband smokes. It's like, well, no, you, 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 he can be happy or you can be happy. You all can be happy. But you, there are certain hacks that you can do that you can smoke cigar in the house. Yeah. Because we smoke cigar in the house and the house, did you walk in, did the house smell like cigars? And we were and smoking. We smoked yeah. cigars. And, and we were smoking we last night. We turned the vents on. We were smoking last night. And we weren't smoking out here in the winter. We were smoking inside. Yeah, we and were. once we learned, we were like, all right, let's do the incense, yeah, etc. The incense right and there. it works. Yeah, it, it really works. works. There's a, and I didn't bring with me, and I'm not, you know, I just like the product. I'm not sure even the brand name, but there is a, a actual ashtray that I got mm -hmm. that is a cigar ashtray and it's electric. They're selling you stuff. And, and it pulls. They're selling you stuff. <laughs> <laughs> They're selling you stuff, brother. <laughs> it pulls the smoke down into the ash. So it, it doesn't, you know, it, it pulls the, the smell down into the, uh, the smoke 
into the ashtray. So it I've never heard of that. I know of yeah. the. I wait, know wait, 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 no, 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 no. Hey, my sister, thing. my sister, where does that smoke go? Inside the. <laughs> okay, inside your house. <laughs> Here we go. Okay. Why? All Why? Right, Why can't All right. you behave? <laughs> It's science. It's science. Where does it go? Yeah. Unless you have a hood that comes out to the house, it's going to your house. So how do you I do that? So that you can see how. I would. Oh, you there, so that's two things you should have bought. Two things. If oh. <laughs> The say, twins are unforgiven. Hey, my father said, yeah, you stepped in some shit this time. And I've stepped all up in it today. So. You marinating in that shit. It's all right. 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 I can handle it. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my goodness. But so at the end of the day, you guys are enjoying your, your, your smokes today. Oh, my God, yeah. Okay. And to be no, honest, do, I just, I love that it's a part of my life, especially right. with COVID. Absolutely. And most people, and I hate to say this because I talked to a friend of mine and she was just like, we're telling her what cigars are. She doesn't realize that you're not breathing, breathing it in. You're right. not inhaling right. it. Like some people, so you're not smoking a blunt. I yeah. Oh. Not, <laughs> oh. No, no offense. No offense. Right. You don't breathe it in. It right. roll. It's an experience. It rolls around. That good wine. On your palate. You, you accompany it with something that you love. Margarita. And then <laughs> it gets into your, your stream. But if you you don't inhale it, never. Yeah. Like, do we have to say that? I, well, maybe you should. Who, those maybe you never, should. Who, who, there are a lot of people that don't understand why people smoke cigars. This, right. this, this, blog, this vlog, you don't inhale it. And I hate to say that, but sometimes something so simple. Well, please do. Can yeah. convert people. Please do. You don't inhale it. Because I'm... I, I am an asthmatic, but from allergy, and so. But I love cigars, and so it's like one. That's one of the reasons why I actually do love so, it. Yeah, yeah. I don't she doesn't it. inhale it. Yeah. You roll it yeah. around, and it just kind of. It just for. Really, ah, I, I tell you what. It's life. <laughs> let let let's go ahead and yes. do. It. I, I'm gonna rate this bad boy, and we go. Let's go into. Okay. Way, but okay. So the glasses too. Yeah. Mm. All over well, a cigar. You know, all over. Shirt, all over, all over the Andalusian bowl. See that all watch, girl? You see that watch? Oh, <laughs> wow. Someone find him. <laughs> He's Listen. the naked guy just running down the street in Newark. <laughs> oh, my ass. goodness. Find him. I've been oh my. robbed. <laughs> oh, my goodness. This <laughs> address. <laughs> well, listen. Let, let's let's go ahead. If you had to grade your cigar on a scale of one to ten, what would you grade that? Let's your say one to five. One to five. What would you grade the El Cujito? 3.5. What? I would. That? Yeah. Kentucky, why? The Kentucky? Five. Okay. Why? Yeah, why? Why? And, and what are you comparing it to? Like, what's the other one that would be a okay. 5? Why this is a 3.5? Uh, uh, simmer down, simmer down. <laughs> right, simmer down. A? I'm an academic. I never give A's. So. Oh. <laughs> wow. Oh. I never give A's. I never give A's. Okay. I never give A's. So, um, because if I gave you an A, What's there to thrive for? So I always mark you down. Even though you're great, I'll never give you Do you really think the people that make this is going to say, oh, she gave me a 3.5, so I'm going to oh, shut up. Am I up my game? Seriously? Focus. I'm never. I'm going to mark you down. But no, I'm not marking you down because I'm being whatever. No. This is a five because no, it is no, life no, for no, me. No, no, no. All right. I'm not finished. You know what? I'm not finished. Can I finish? Go ahead. Yes, I don't know. Can you? Thank you. <laughs> Maybe oh. I'll keep my clothes if I let it finish. Evil twin to be continued. No. Uh, <laughs> a <laughs> missing twin. <laughs> right? right? <laughs> I got witnesses. <laughs> this evidence. No. no. What I want to do is like, I always, my thing is, my objective always is to um, kind of, um, it's like, I don't want to overcome. God, right? I love this. So I was trying to balance. But I'm not just doing that because. This really is something you smoke every day. So then why rate right? it 3.5? No, that's what I'm saying. That's why you rate it 3.5. If it's something that you smoke once in a while, you can be like, oh, five. So meaning that the experience is pinnacle. It's the yeah. experience, right? Yeah. So that okay. one experience. Right. It's like a Johnny Blue, blue man. <laughs> she's doing, yeah. she's getting real cerebral yeah. with this. It's like Johnny Walker Blue, man. It's you like get that one little Johnny Walker Johnny Blue, Walker blue. Gotcha. you can only have one and it life is good. Is You're right. You're right. Okay, you, you plead your case. That's good. It's worth it, but having it every day. So, uh, and every day, yes. Okay. Three, four, five. Done. Toya, you just pledge your case. I thought you were starting out with nothing, 
But uh, <laughs> all right. and you said five for you, right? Oh yeah, because it's okay. life every day. I'll tell you what. I haven't <laughs> had this every day. This is actually my second Andalusian bull ever. When you and, say Andalusia, you know what I think about the alchemist. I'm sorry. Gotcha. But <laughs> that's what I think. And I'm gonna give this a four point five. Okay? I give it a four. Why? Because she made me feel bad about giving it a five. <laughs> Right, right, right. No, here's the thing. They say so when you know a boss. Really I, guilt? You know, I had a boss. I'm guilty about a lot of damn things today. I tell you that. She talked to me about um uh uh the the, the um the rugs the, the Persian rugs. They always put a mistake in it. One mistake. Really? Yes. They always put one mistake. It could be look, it may be perfect, but there's one mistake. Why? Only God is perfect. And so the one mistake is like only God is perfect. Nothing can be perfect, right? Mm. So I never give things a five. This can be really perfect. I tell you what. Okay, so I, I if I were to rate your jinky, beauty, you're a two. The way I lit it was a little jinky, so I, I give it a four point five for that. Mm -hmm. But listen, I tell you what, we're gonna come right back with our last segment because we got something that I want you to present. Yes. But we're gonna come back with that. <laughs> Exciting. Okay? Yes. We're right back, Jack Kim Cigar Drum.